Impact of Corruption on Economic Growth Focusing on Asia of Emerging Developing Countries Index We have the introduction Literature reviews Model and results Empirical results Conclusion And references This is the introduction. Many countries are making efforts for economic growth, thus analyze, analyzing the factors of economic growth has become the nation's most important task regardless of advanced developing and developing countries. GDP experts, public aid, ODA, Remittances from abroad, educational investment, investment in human resources and direct overseas investment are important economic indicators to be known. Religion, political risk, and many other areas also serve as important variables for economic growth. Corruption is also another important area to know for economic growth. Many examples show. In most cases, corruption is said to have a negative impact on e economic growth. Especially in the case of advanced countries, corruption has a negative impact on economic growth as it undermines the rise of social costs and fair competition. However, in some cases, corruption is not only negative for economic growth. If you do things over your com competitors at a certain price, like a ride in an amusement park, these costs could actually help you in business. At times like this, corruption acts like a lubricant, which takes a lot of time, or it will be a means of smoothly solving areas that are not resolved in principle due to bureaucracy bureaucracy which will ultimately help economic growth. Thus corruption can have a negative or positive impact on economic growth depending on the perspective of the view or on the economic conditions of the de developing country. Basically corruption can have a wealth effect on economic growth which is that corruption plays a role in one extra cost. According to Morrow in 1995, corruption causes low investment and it is therefore negative for economic growth. On the contrary, however, corruption sometimes has a positive effect on economic growth. Rather, according to Leff in 1964, Government bureaucracy has a negative impact on economic growth. In such cases, corruption rather serves as a lubricant to the slow progress made by bureaucracy and various regulations, thus facilitating economic growth. First of all, we would like to use the Corrupt Perception Index, the CPI, released by Transparency International as a variable that affects economic growth. Another variable is FDI, ODA, and remittance. We have the literature reviews. 2.1 Corruption. Since 1995, Transparency International, TI, based in Germany, has annually published figures and rankings for the Corrupt Perception Index, the CPI. The CPI is conducted as a survey of corruption levels, divided from 0 to 100, with the number 100 indicating less corruption and the number of 0 indicates the most corrupt. According to O. Pilhuan in 2013, the top 10 countries in the CPI index as of 2012 
show that with the exception of Chile and Barbados, per capita income is over 30,000. Previously, data from businesses in charge of business, international BI, and the credit evaluations have been mainly used. But in recent studies, the CPI, which is now being published by Transparency International, is being used as the most common measure of corruption. Literature Reviews 2.2 Morrow in 1995 conducted a regression analysis on the impact of investment rates per capita GDP and corruption on economic growth by dividing bureaucracy into countries with complex forms and not. Both which were divided into bureaucracy showed that corruption has a wealth effect on economic growth. In early research, many studies showed that corruption played a role as a lubricant in implementing government policies, which has a positive effect on economic growth. This was especially true for developing emerging economies in Asia. According to Leff in 1964, government bureaucracy has a negative impact on economic growth. In such cases, corruption rather serves as lubricant to show to the slow progress made by bureaucracy and various regulations, thus facilitating economic growth. The study by Seoul Tech in 2012 conducted a study on the impact of ODA on economic growth based on panel data from Philippines, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Vietnam has had a positive impact on economic growth. Indonesia has had no major st statistically significant impact. In the Philippines, ODA has had a negative impact on economic growth. In the paper of Cho in 2018, the foreign remittances of Mexico and economic growth were analyzed through the granger cat causal relationship. The results showed that the remittances from abroad were significant to economic growth and that remittances also affect education. This has a positive impact on economic growth and education. As the amount of money that is being transferred from Mexico is so large, that it is similar to FDI. Number three, we have the model and results. The research model used four variables, CPI, GDP, FDI, ODA, and remittance. CPI used CPI index by Transparency International. GDP and ODA used per capita and FDI and remittance used the entire national amount. Of these, GDP, FDI, and ODA were converted into logs. And I means, it means country, and it means time. I means country, T means time. Data. Seven Asian countries including the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar, Indonesia, and Cambodia. Excuse me. In the Indonesia and Cambodia targeted the emerging countries and used 14 years of panel data between 2005 and 2017. Empirical results. A total of five variables were classified as being used in the study. These use of direct overseas investment, FDI, public assistance, ODA, and remit from abroad as variables related to GDP, capitals and flows indicating economic growth. And finally, the Corruption Perce Perceptions Index, the CPI index, as indices related to corruption and integrity. The CPI index used data from 1995 by Transparency International and the other four variables use data from the World Bank.
Number four, empirical results. The test results showed that the CPI had a positive effect on economic growth. This is a more transparent society that helps economic growth. Due to the above results, developing countries in Asia have shown no lubrication effect. FDI has been shown to help economic growth. This means that investments from foreign countries are in invested in industries which help economic growth. In the case of ODA, the random effects, effect effect was shown to be conducive to economic growth, but was not statistically significant. This means that ODA from abroad is used for productive parts. In the case of remittances, it was also found to have a positive effect on economic growth. Empirical results. It can be seen that remittances are used in constructive areas such as education and family business, rather than simply spending the consumption. Conclusion Emerging markets in Asia are developing rapidly modeled after Korea. And there is a situation in which a lot of capital is flowing from foreign countries. Many researchers are criticizing the lack of efficient use of such capital due to corruption in Asian markets. Thus, this paper was launched to find out the relationship between corruption and economic growth in Asia. The paper shows the decline in corruption has a positive effect on economic growth. This can be said to be a result of the lack of lubrication effect of corruption shown in underdeveloped countries. Also, FDI. ODA money transfers also have a positive effect on economic growth. This could be seen as a result of an inflow of funds from abroad being used for constructive purposes. In light of these results, emerging economies in Asia will continue to be highly viable markets. References